All right, today I'm doing a test flight on Tom Cool's modded X350 Pro. Um, he didn't send the top cover with all the fixing blocks in it. Uh, that's what your screws screw into for most of it. So um, I'm only running the end screws. I'm not using the four in here. I just put some double, you know, some cheap double-sided tape on the arms right here just for this hover test. It's not going to be a big deal. Um, and I'll just take that off when I send it back to him and he can put all that back together when he gets it. Um, now, the 3DR motors come with prop adapters that are for self-tightening props only, which means the prop shaft is short. Uh, the, the props that we use for the powertrain mod have a thick hub, so you have to use the Sunny Sky prop adapters that go for the larger Sunny Sky motors. They fit right on and they look like they're made for the motor. They cost $5.50 each, um, and they come with a really nice large bullet adapter, uh, bullet nut. Um, it also comes with a, uh, with a nylock nut. Um, so if you use the 3DR prop adapters, you're going to have to use self-tightening props. Uh, eBay has a nice set of self-tightening DJI carbon fiber props. They work very well on this quad. Uh, and they spin right on to the 3DR prop adapter. So that'll give you a little rundown about the 3DR motors and how they, how that goes with those. Um, I've already done all the ca calibrations. I've done, uh, I put a stock param in. This thing has uh, the powertrain mod with the Opera ESCs. It has the 3DR motors with the um, um, Joey Chin uh, adapters. Um, it also has uh, uh, telemetry for the 433 megahertz. Um, it also has an OSD. It, I'm using the Micro Minim OSD. Uh, it has a modded Devo M with the telemetry mod for the flight controller. Um, it also has a BN880 GPS module and it. I also did the pass-through cable for the uh, battery buzzer. He's running his on the door. Um, it plugs in and the wire comes down pretty nicely. Uh, and that'll make it to where we can put all the wires inside. Um, I've already done the compass dance, the Excel calibration, and um, I've also calibrated my transmitter to it. He'll have to do his calibration for his transmitter when he gets it in. So all i got to do is power up and fly. Wait for it to get a GPS lock. Now this thing hasn't been powered up outside with the GPS plugged in for quite a while, so the GPS may have to do a cold start, which that takes a little longer. It should have a lock by now. Yep, there it goes. Getting one blink. Now we're getting several blinks. Yeah, it had the cold start which is pretty normal for any GPS. Uh, it should get a lock pretty quickly now after we start up. Nice and smooth takeoff. Let me turn on my screen here. We have OSD. Now we do have some wind blowing, so it is going to drift a little bit. I can trim for that some to kind of get it to stay in one spot. All right, let's check out Loiter. There's Loiter. Now whenever you go into Loiter, if you've got trim, if you've trimmed, when you go into Loiter, if your trim is out, then it's going to drift because loiter's trying to keep it in, in place and it thinks you're trying to move it when you've got trim, whichever direction you've got it trimmed. So that's loiter, doing very good. Uh, the wind's blowing, you know, it's gonna do some changes as it tries to hold position. That's what your gimbal's for. Now I'm gonna step back here and do a return to launch. It should climb 20 meters and then move over here where I powered it up. And I didn't arm and disarm it twice. Uh, it's always good to arm and disarm twice. It will make the home point a little more accurate. Now look, it's gonna be off, and that's why. Um, don't know why that is. All APM flight controllers are this way. 
Now it looks like it's trying to recover that some. I'm going to go ahead and let it land completely. I'm not going to fly it around too much because it doesn't have all the screws in it. Oh, I hit the y'all on accident. <laughs> I hit y'all when I pulled the throttle down and that's why I did that. So that was my, my mistake. All right, so that's it. Uh, it flies like it's supposed to. Um, everything's working, VTX, OSD. Uh, I don't have an SJ cam with video out. I have one, but it doesn't have TV out, so I can't test. But I did add the cable. That's you know another that's another uh, expense that I'm giving. I, I've given a lot of stuff away on this job. Um, but uh, this cable is for the SJ cam. I did wire this cable up to do video and power the SJ cam uh, for five volts. So uh, it won't run the it'll charge the battery in the SJ cam. Uh, that way you won't be running your battery down. Uh, but that's it. This is uh, this is going to be it for Tom Cool's uh, 350. I'm going to go ahead and tear it down and get it boxed up and ready to send to him. Thanks for watching.